Good morning. How is everybody this morning? Be with you in just a moment. Let me make my morning cup of coffee and we'll be ready to do some fun stuff. Or not so fun stuff, I don't know yet, we'll see. Running a couple minutes behind this morning. I was up until 1 a.m. running Epic Elites with my guildmates. Pulled an orb from Subversion there. Alrighty, who do we have this morning? Let's start the morning. Let's see here. Wow, that's bright. All right, there we go. So. Still doing the Movember thing. Um, you can see one of the posters Jerry sent me in the background there. And then there's a couple other posters. All kinds of good stuff about it. Probably can't read it. Then there's a big orange poster, all about Movember. All kinds of goodies. So for the rest of the month, since there's a couple different pins, I'm going to be wearing a different pin every every week. This this week's pin is right here. Can't really see it. It says. It's a Movember mustache with a big yes in the middle. Um, let's make my big face go away. And let's bring up the TP giveaway window. Uh, we can make that a little bigger. Alright, so we're going to have a prize today of 500 turbine points. We're going to need 10... 10 participators again this week. So far we have Isander and we have Amaref. Anybody else out there this morning that would um, comment and chat there and um, we'll get you added up on the list too. In the meantime, the Check, check Mibit here. I don't see anybody talking this morning. Uh, HTTPS works. I can never remember which ones it works and which ones it doesn't. Um, that out there spread the word there's nobody in the DDO wiki channel itself except for myself and Ague and a bot good morning Ed uh, rip to three good stuff all right so Who else do we have this morning? Anybody out there? Looks like I'm dropping some frames. Oh, here's our wiki. I'm not sure what we're going to be doing today. Any suggestions are welcome. Um, while I wait, take a look at recent changes here. i got to mute my phone. Let's see here. What's happened since last week? No 
November 2nd, last Monday. All right, so here's our stuff last Tuesday. Ah, the um, I remember last week I was working on the game revision dates template. Um, we'll take a look at that. You can see it's 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 now working. I actually had to do one more edit, I believe it was, to get it working. You can see that it, it's completely working even the before the game existed stuff now on the test cases page that we had. Oh, and I duplicated the work done on MW revision dates. So that wasn't it. Let's head over to MW revision dates. I can't edit it on this account, but we can take a look at the last edit. Um, so this was the last edit that we did, the before the game existed one, at 10 o'clock. It says 11 o'clock because it's an hour over for me. Um, so I did one more edit for 24 bytes there. And um, I just moved the before the game existed up into this section up here and got rid of the extra pipe and it worked. So it was just placement of that thing. Let's see here, what else do we have? I did some work on the double redirect gadget. I did some revis revisitation of the all users auto confirmed and DDO wiki VIP pages. The descriptions on those. Deleted some things. I've been doing a lot of work on um, gadgets this week. Well, we can take a look at some of those. Gadgets are all written in JavaScript. You can see that I did some DDO CCJS stuff. Gadget delete. Oh, yeah, that's a good one to talk about. Cleaned out a bunch of stuff. Had a few new users this week. JJ blocked somebody this week. Talk Saga page. Somebody got promoted. What else do we have? Anything interesting here? A lot of these J JavaScript things are just minor changes. I added a page for Vorn, the monster that sometimes doesn't always spawn. Um, the other ones still need to have pages made for them. Your DDO got a couple upgrades, updates. Uh, mostly formatting, it looks like. Fred got a couple updates. Respecialization. I think those were mostly image things. Some stuff got moved. We have this administration guideline page here. Talk haste, talk the night rebels. All right, so that's all the recent changes stuff right now. So this this is a gadget right here. It's a, for the double redirects. It's JavaScript. You can write JavaScripts on the wiki to do things for you. If you want them to be able to do things for other people, they need to be in the media wiki namespace. Only administrators have permission to write things to the MediaWiki namespace. 
This is to protect you, to prevent people from putting malicious code in there. Um, basically what this script does is if we go to special pages, and we wait for this to load, Ah, excellent. You can see that we have a double redirect. It says there's one there. So if we go to double redirects, it says shout of the phylactery, points to shout of the phylactery, and goes to shout of the phylactery. Confusing. They're all, they're all the same, right? Except if you mouse over them, this is just shout of the phylactery. This one is actually shout of the phylactery. What's the difference? Ah, shard of phylactery, shard of the phylactery, and then it redirects finally to item shard of the phylactery, which is where it should be pointing. Um, so if we take and we open this page up here, and I don't have, apparently, I don't have the script running, but if we take and copy this, you can actually run scripts that are in the media wiki namespace from the location address bar and when you run that script it says fix this redirect you click on that and it should say fixed and then it should delete it it's not working this morning for some reason so We're going to bring up the console and see if we can figure out what's going on. Unconference, uncaught reference error, fixed double redirects is not defined. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this little thing here and we're going to do an and debug equals yes. And that's going to reload. And we're going to click on the link. And this should tell us exactly what line number it is. It says it's on line one. Not very helpful in. All right, let's see here. Fix double redirects, not defined. Function fix double redirects. Well, the only way it could be not defined is if mechanical spa pa special page name isn't double redirects. So we can test that. We can say what is the special page name? And it says it is double redirects. Which is what we have here. Double redirects. So function fix double redirects index. Or so why isn't it loading? I don't know. Let's do a raw copy and paste. This is the wonderful thing about using the console to debug text. Oh, let's see here. Clear this out. So if we copy in the source code there, and we paste it in. Unexpected token. Let's clear, let's get rid of all of this and just load the page. Now let's go back here.
copy all this. Like this. I'm going to leave the outside function out. It might actually be the problem. So if I paste that in there and I hit enter, okay, that works. Fix this redirect. Fixed. And then in a few seconds, it actually reloads the page. Or it's supposed to. Now it's supposed to remove this line and then reload the page. So we'll see what happens. Just thinking about it. Good morning, Daniela. G A N I L E Y A. Up to four attendees this morning. Awesome. So you can see that it refreshed the page and there's no results left. So we fixed that redirect using this script. I gotta fix this in a little bit. Um, I don't know why this isn't working. Let me fix that right now. So let me comment this out for now until I can figure out why that isn't working. Good morning, Confuculus. And now I can actually copy this. Put that down. So if I reload this page, you can see that it's commented out now. If I go to Category, Shoemaker. Ah, I deleted it. I must have been done with it. Which means if I'm done with it, I shouldn't be putting things into it anymore. So let's go over here. Edit. And let's get rid of using that category if I'm not using it anymore. Since I have an experiment here, let's take a look at it. If I go back to the redirect page and I do a page history and you can see that I did fixing double redirects using the double redirect fixer. Links to the both things there. If I undo that, Pop that out, special double redirects. Good morning, son. 
Let's add some names to the list here. So if I do my with JS, let's see what happens now. Not not defined. Oh, because I need to refresh the page. Ah, okay. So I don't even need the console open. Now that I've changed that, it works automatically. So when I refresh the page, you'll see that I don't even have to type anything into the console. It automatically pops up. Click on the link. It says fixed. A few seconds later, you see a little thing spinning up here. Or you can't because it's behind the box there. There. Now you can see it spinning. It's thinking. It's going to refresh the page. And that'll fix the double redirect. And no results to report. Awesome. I love automation. Click a button and it's done. Um, I did some changes to these, so that's what everybody gets that visits the wiki. They can make talks, accounts, create pages, edit, and read. Um, DDO wiki users get all of the all stuff, and then they get as users, edit options, private info, user CSS, user JSS, edit my watch list, minor edits. All kinds of things that they can do. And then you get auto confirmed, which adds um, skip captcha, which it automatically does now. After 10 days and 50 edits, I believe it is. DDO Wiki VIP um, can move root user pages, can move pages with sub pages, can move files. Once you hit DDO Wiki VIP, you can start using some of the semi-automated tools, like the redirect fixer I was just showing you, which is automated. You click a button and it does it for you. Um, I haven't updated the other ones. Ah, Koi says good morning. Um, Koi was actually on the Wednesday, the weekly Wednesday with Cordovan. Let's do that so you can see when people talk in there. And then let's actually do this too. So you can see the address bars up here. Um, you can see that I did a lot of revision for some of these. I got rid of extra stuff. This particular gadget code anchors means that if you have comments, in Actually, let's fix this because, because, because it's actually missing something. But if you have a if you have a link inside of a comment, that's not actually a link. It's the gadget that makes it that way and adds these edits and what link here links. Um, Alright, so it does have it. Little, little links in there, turns those into links. Those are all the gadgets. If you go to category gadgets. Ah, that was as of that revision, but there's newer edits. Okay, I see. Ah, okay. So yeah, see how it's just category gadgets? Well, this gadget right here isn't working on this page right now but it was working on the other one ah it might be a chrome thing chrome acts really weird if things aren't working as they're supposed to be and you're using chrome everything that i create for gadgets is only tested in firefox usually so if it's not working let me know and i will debug why it's not working in chrome 
that might be why the other script wasn't working properly because we're in Chrome instead of my normal Firefox. Um, so I will have to make some changes to that script in order for it to work in Chrome. Active users is a new script that I'm working on that is going to, no, that's not the new script. Well, it is a new script, it's not done yet. Um, it's for special active users. So if I go to special active users, it actually pulls the full list something in Chrome doesn't doesn't like to cooperate with things. I've always had issues fixing things for Chrome. It's actually becoming worse than Internet Explorer. Um, but yeah. The script for this one is going to just get the list of all the people, how many edits they've had in the last 30 days, and it's going to make this sortable and add a little bit of color coding to make it easier to read. Um, I just haven't gotten to finish it, finishing that script yet. I have a lot of scripting to do. Um, we have our we have we actually have coding conventions for how we like JavaScript to look on Wiki. Um, indentation with double spaces, no trailing white space. Use blank lines to separate blocks of logical code from another. Use one space on both sides of binary operators and assignment operators. Keywords followed by a parenthesis must be separated by a space. There should be no space between the function name and the left parenthesis of an argument list. There should be one space in the insider parentheses. Um, don't use operators if they, as if they are functions such as delete, void, typo, new, and return. So I'll give some examples. Don't smash it all together. Give spaces. Make sure there's a space there between the if and the parentheses and the do bar in the parentheses. Function foo. Don't put a space in there. Um, Baz, banana pear, you got spaces in there on the parentheses. Spaces for our, our arrays. Um, you, ha you see our structure. We have the function and the jQuery down there. Um, so avoid leakage of variables, wrapping in a closure. Um, we don't use a ref, so there's all kinds of stuff. I have to update this. Apparently, that's not currently working. I might have to modify it in some way. Line length, we want to try to keep it under 100 lines of code. A lot, some of the things that this page is talking about, we actually don't have... Um, completely available. It Parts of it are there. Most of it is there. There are some things that still might not work, as this page mentions, because this page was written for MediaWiki 1.25 and we're using 1.23, so we're a couple revisions behind. Um, but yeah, that's our coding conventions. If you want to write JavaScript, we love gadgets and JavaScript, so if you have something that you want to write for, for that, you go ahead and write it and test it, and then go to the um, administrator's notice board and mention it and put it under points of interest, maybe. Um, those are really old points of interest. I should go through closing them up this week. Um, here's our delete gadget. It 
probably won't work in Chrome, just like the other ones. Um, for some reason, I'm just, uh, my console doesn't even work. There's a lot of CSS errors that have showed up, shown up. Uh, yeah, I'm not even going to try to debug it in Chrome right now. I, I have a really difficult time debugging in Chrome. They've been going the wrong direction. But if you're using Firefox, I can give you an example of what that looks like. Um, I think it's in your preferences. So if I log out, and log in, log in as COBOL worker. Uh, COBOL sneak, uh, COBOL worker. Um, Is that the password? Yes. I gotta feed the cat. I'll be back in just a second. She is very naggy when she wants something. So, um, recent changes. What was I showing you? All oh, right. If we go to a page, and if you look up in here. Well, I don't have it activated. It's a preference, I guess. I might not even have it available yet because I'm not sure that I completed it. Uh, let's see here. Preferences. I think I wanted to do some more testing before I put it up live. And if we go to... Gadgets. Yeah, I don't even have it available as gadgets and testing phase yet. So we're just going to have to wing it. Um, that was MediaWiki gadget delete. So if we go to Oh. Good morning, Steel Star. All right. So if we go to a page
That's right. I haven't put it up there yet as available yet because if there are protected pages that you can't edit, it doesn't know to put the delete tag on the talk page instead. I, I, I need to work on our system for that. But if we just take a random page, haste, for example, which isn't protected, and we do with JS equals MediaWiki delete, basically what it will do, and I also wanted to add an option for instant delete, is if you go over to the mouse here, even though you're not an administrator, if you are a DDO Wiki VIP or better, you'll get a delete link, which will say mark this page for deletion. And you click on it and, you, and it pops up and it says, why do you want this page deleted? Failure to provide a reasonable answer result in the request being denied. Test for demonstration purposes on and then you hit OK and you don't see anything happen ah there we go page was tagged OK and then it will reload the page and it will say that this article is pending review for deletion per the deletion policy. Please review the history. It automatically adds that tag for you. It doesn't put anything on the talk page yet that may be coming in the future. Um, revision history, you can see tagging page as delete using deletion tagger. Let's undo that quickly. Let's do it even quicker. Log out. Log in. So you can see what COBOL Worker did here. We can just roll that back in one click. And that's fixed. But um, yeah, what it does is it if you look at the revision here, you'll see that it says delete reason test for demonstration purposes on https twitch.tv slash studio stream will revert. Um, that reason is actually supposed to show up in the template here and I don't know why it's not so this delete is actually a link so let's follow that to the template see if we can this is something we can edit let's see if we can um, figure out why that reason didn't work all right So let's do control find. Oh, I can edit anything. I'm on the T13 account. Um, let's go back over here. All right, there we go. If reason is empty, this page is currently not eligible for deletion as there is no talk page, which means there is no reason for deletion on the talk page, or reason equals reason. So that should have shown the reason. I don't know. It looks like it should be working. Oh, let's see what else we have that we can work on. Talk Saga page list level. I've downloaded the Saga page into an Excel spreadsheet. 
If you find it useful, others probably do too. You can email me. Oh yes, so I should have an email for that. Um, I always do that. Come on. November picture time stuff, I already did those. DDO. Nope, nothing there. Inbox. So apparently I don't have an email there. I don't know. Let's figure it out later. Um. Nimave recently added the Millbox page with some additional detail. So he wanted to know how to create a link to a section. Um, he says this looks awkward, and he re and 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 you'd prefer to replace that text with the word friends. Um, so he wanted to know how to make it look right. Um, Thalone gave instructions. He said, you know, it's just the social panel pound friends tab. It actually, you can use spaces instead of underscores. And then it's a pipe, and then whatever you want to replace it with. Um, and then I embellished on that, saying hey, he was correct. It's called a pipe link. There's a Wikipedia page on it. Um, I still need to make template posts go away. But we'll get to that. Um, so pipe links tells you how to do it. You can also do what's known as the pipe trick. Um, which is once you learn how to do pipe links where you can type in something with a section or you can type in one page name and have it display another piece of text, you make it plural or whatever. If you have something that is a disambiguous page title, something that uses parentheses in it, um, Let's see if I can find one in recent page changes. Well, all of, well, no, those are right. Those are actual names. We don't have a lot of disambiguous pages anymore. So a lot of them were revolving around items, and since we created the item namespace, we didn't need them. Uh, let's see here. All right, so there's none in recent changes. Let's do... All right, so if I type in against the Demon Queen, you'll see that we have quest, we have story arc, 
We have just a regular page. Well, if you take this quest page right here, this is known as this is what is known as a disambiguous page title because of the parenthesis word parenthesis. Um, what the pipe trick does is if you have this something in parentheses and you put a pipe and nothing after it, it will chop off the space and the stuff in the parentheses. So it results, results in pipe. If you have something comma something, it just shows the first part before the comma. If you have something in another namespace and you use the pipe trick, um, user example just shows example. Template welcome just shows temp, uh, welcome. Um, basically, it's a shortcut way to trim unwanted extra pieces from the link title when it when it creates a text. Um, it actually recreates the wiki markup for you. So if you save it and you reload it, it'll actually show up with the word in there for you. Um, You can also blend it in affix. So if you have pipe computing and you want it to be pipes, so you get pipe computing, pipe trick, S, it'll actually change it to pipe computing, pipe, S, and render it as pipes, or pipe mill, you can do that as well. Um, there's some, some specific things that they've thought of, like commas, beat parentheses. So if it's something, comma, something, parentheses, it'll still show the stuff after the comma. Um, only one prefix is suppressed. So if it's, well, we don't have that issue. We don't have interwiki. So we don't even have to worry about that. Uh, only the first comma. So if it's something, comma, something, comma, it just shows what's before the first comma. Um, a namespace and a suffix can both be omitted. It doesn't work inside of ref footnotes, which we don't use, or gallery tags, which we do use. Um, it doesn't work inside of edit summaries, and it doesn't work for section links. Um, You can also do the slash trick for subpages and the reverse pipe trick. And then there's a then there's you know we have our user template and stuff like that, but So, what do we got here? 8.50? A couple more minutes and we're going to take a five minute break. Um, just wanted to go over this real quick. We have our administration guideline, which shows all of the user groups, how many people are in them, which are all links to lists of people that are in them. Um, I need to update this page with on the promotion. Um, it's not administrators anymore. It's anybody of the same level or higher. Uh, DDO Wiki VIP. Those I need to update. System operator still pretty much the same. Bureaucrat promotion pretty much the same. Steward promotion pretty much the same. Administrator duties. Um, I actually have permissions to do fan site board announcements. Um, I'll, I'll need to update that as well. Got a list of system current administrators. This is very outdated. Um, I might actually create a script that automatically does this for us. Hmm. 
I wonder if there's some way I can do it with DPL. I'll have to do a lot of research on that to figure out if I can do it with, with um, DPL. And some of these are actually, MJOL is actually retired. Uh, Rot Borg is retired. Yoko is kind of semi-retired, I believe. So that page needs an update. And then we're back here um, to against the Demon Queen. So if I wanted to create a link to this page, we head over to the talk page for an example. I click on add topic. So if I type in against the Demon Queen, pipe, thing, thing, it will just show against the Demon Queen. I can do this with a show preview. It just shows against the Demon Queen, but it will take you to the page. So let's see here. What do we got for recent changes? Leave that page. What else has been hired? Retired from wiki editing. Um, they no longer edit on the wiki. Um, been gone for quite some time. Any other questions? Uh, looks like we only have five viewers right now. Let your guildies know that we need more people for um, the 500 turbine point giveaway. All right, I can close that. Yeah, we're only up to six out of 10 so far. So we need more people. And that is where we're going to take our five-minute break. Um, I will be back shortly.
and we're back. So, somebody didn't get a chance to get a snack last week. Less than five minutes last week. Well, I'll try to work on that. So, let's see here. What do we got? What do we have to work on? You got your snack. Awesome. Snacks are good. Snacks are great. Snacks are better on my plate. Um, so what do we want to edit this week? Hmm. Well, what do I have in my screenshot folder? Let's have a look here. When I don't know what to edit, I always go to the screenshot folder. Um, I got some pictures of some keys. Pictures of the lag out in Maybar, way up in the sky. Oh yeah, I got a little bit of research on who's who. So we got S Neblin, who is an undead lich. So let's see if we have a page on Sneblin yet. I don't believe that there is. So let's go here, edit. Defeat the mummy lord. Clear undead, proceed to the next courtyard. Gain access to the root to dispatch the lich. Snevelin. All right, we'll save that. Head over to Sniblin. Info box monster, if I remember correctly. Show preview. Yeah, that's going to be a massive project that'll take me a few weeks to um, actually go through and get that all working properly. And I just haven't had time to get into it. Screenshots of the XP panel from all of the challenges. Okay. I'm assuming that it's for specific levels. Come on. There we go. 
So I can copy info box monster. All right, so type undead race lich type undead race lich I don't know if he was in the monster manual or not I'll have to look into that CR um, was 22 at 19 but I'm going to leave that in a comment until I can actually get back in there next year and do some more research or get some more research from other people. Uh, named. He is named. He's not a boss. Well, he is a red boss, I guess. He's got a red color. He's not a rare, he always spawns. I didn't bother with attacks or qualities. Habitat, the snitch and the lich. And we're just going to mark this as a starting point. I'll check my monster manual tonight and see if they showed up in there or not. Um, so let's head back over to here. Uh, what do we got? That's not really good for a screenshot of them. We have some ghouls, Sarek and Vorn. So that's in level 19 under new ravagement. Under new, and I can't spell, so I'm gonna have to look at it again. Ravagement. I'm horrible at spelling, I love All right, so we got a page for Vorn, but we don't have one for Seric Fens yet. Do I still have that copy to the clipboard? I do. Sweet. Under new ravagement. Not rare is red. Is red or is he orange? I don't know. And that was at level 19, he was 21. Twenty-one at nineteen. Well, Vorn is orange. He looks like he could be orange, too. He's always highlighted, so it's hard to tell. I think he's orange, actually. So let's change that. So... Orange. I didn't bother noting any of that stuff. Save page. Oh, I didn't put in the other stuff. Duh. I can put in my type and so type is undead. Race is mummy, I believe. Yep, he's my mummy. And again, I'll have to check and see if he ended up in the monster manual. Vorn is orange too, yes, I noticed that. We can check Vorn's page.
Yep, he's listed as orange. He's marked as rare because he doesn't always spawn. Even though that may be a bug. actually be a minor bug no well, would it be a minor bug no I guess it'd be a regular bug My mummy across the house. I'm sorry. I have seen it where he doesn't come out of hiding unless you run down. I've seen it where he doesn't come out at all. So. And you'll see that since I put the bug template in there, it's marked as game bugs in the categories. And these are lists of all 239 pages that have game bugs in them. Somebody could go through and test those at some point if they wanted to and see which ones still exist and which ones have been fixed. And there's a whole list of unofficial known issues. Things that we know that like Stone of Change, Force and Critical Force Virtues do not work on returning throwing weapons. really old bug but it's not known on the official known issues thread so hey, de hey devs when you get bored sometime and um, there's nothing on the official known list check this out sometime and see if you can fix some of these ones yes that is I'm guessing that some of them have been fixed this is not a dynamic list it's not updated automatically so it's something that probably needs to be updated. Um, somebody should go through and make sure that those are all actually still bugs. All right, so let's head back over to our screenshots here. What else do we have? We have a picture of click. Kilk. Uh, let's see here. There's Vorn, who's a CR20 there. Let's see if we have a page for Kilk. We don't. Is that still in there? No. So, recent changes, Kilk is an undead kobold. I'm just going to copy this from Sneblin real quick, undead. Cobalt named Orange Boss. No, Boss No Named Orange. Color Orange. There we go. Named Yes, Boss No, Color Orange. Good. Um, he is 20 at 19, I believe. And he is in. Is that the name of it? Uh, 
I don't remember what the exact page was. The Cobalt's new ringleader? No, that's not the one I want. It's, um... Cobalt's newest ringleader. The Cobalt's newest ringleader, right there. And starting point for him. All right, so what else do we have here for screenshots? There's a picture of Sneblin, but it's not a very good one. He's got Chill Shield and Mantle of Invulnerability. We can add those. That was a screenshot I took for a bug report that I want to do. See how dark red that is? You can you can barely see anything. That's um, caused by the um, Scourge Choker. The levels of red get way too dark to see things. Something that should probably be fixed at some point. Uh, ghouls are 19 in there. Try to get screenshots of them. Oh, we don't have her yet. So let's head over here and do Lady Rass. We don't have an article for that. He also has a barrier at the door until Roderick Nettle dies. Doesn't even spawn until Roderick dies. Let's copy this. Oh, that wasn't what I wanted. Uh huh? Oh yeah, I'm not doing Malric right now. Although I do need to edit this page. While that's loading, let's open a new tab with recent changes. Grab click or kilk. Edit. Copy. Paste. Orange. Haberdashed, and she is an undead vampire. And she has a strength and a dexterity damage ward. And the last one, I believe, is Sea Invisibility. No, it's like a mage armor. It is mage armor. Okay. And 
she's orange. All right, so there's our starting point. I don't know what her CR is. 24 at, I don't know. And actually I am going to use my cheat boxes down on the bottom to make those links, even though they'll be red links. And this finally loaded, so we can link Mal Krillic and his guards. Okay, interesting. I don't think I've s seen Krillic. And actually, the optional for click should be... before the unlock the room door oh I know who that is okay yep All right, so we got Click. We still need Krillic and Malric. If I have shots of them, I don't know that I do. So let's see here. What else do I have for screenshots? I'm uh, looking at number 26, so 27. I have Lindelay, who's in Haverdashed. Edit. Lindelay should come before Lady Rass, although you can kill Lindelay after if you want. Kill all the wraiths. Kill all the skeletons. Really? I hadn't noticed that, but that may be, may be true. Kill the Lindelay. Let's fix that. Lindelay. Copy, edit, minor edit, save page. Yep, those are the shambling undead. But I don't feel like linking that to... Um... Linking that to zombies just yet. So, Lindelay. Is 22 at 20. I think that's 20. Which means Wraith is also... Lady Wraith is also 22 at 20. I did a lot of work trying to get a screenshot of her. Ooh. Ooh. I can use that screenshot for Lindelay. So we'll open that up and edit. And we'll do a select. Cut. 
cut, file, new, don't save, paste, file, save as, PNG, uh, documents, Dungeons and Dragons, I'm going to save it as, Lindelay, dot PNG. All right. And that's what we got there. So we can close that. We can copy this. Lindelay, acrylic, Malric. Lindelay is going to be image, subst, page name, dot PNG, type, Undead Wraith, at 20, she's what? 22 at 20. She is named. She's not a boss. She is orange. She's not rare. And she is in Haberdashed. Show preview. Got a missing picture here, so we'll go to upload file. Part of the update to the page, I had it modified so that we can now have 300 kilobytes for large file size, so you don't get as many warnings. And I also reduced the permitted file types to ping, JPEG, and GIF. Again, don't abuse animated GIFs. Um, so let's choose a file. Documents, Dungeons and Dragons, asterisk.png. We'll show just Lindelay, open, upload file. I may add more file types in the future. I am particularly interested in figuring out how to get S SVGs to work which are something vector graphics or something like that. So there's our screenshot of Lindelay. I'll do a show preview. And there she is. Save page. All right, Ms. Lindelay. Uh, which Lady Wrath picture do we like here? Where'd you go? Number one. Number two. Yeah, I don't like either one of those. They're too far away. So number one or number two? Which one do we like better? I kind of like number one better. It's bigger. I'm taking your votes right now. Your votes. Number one or number two? Which lady ra race picture should we use? One or two? Except that we don't support TIFF files for Macs. Uh, Mac users can use JPEG just like everybody else or PNG. Number one, the bigger one. Number one it is, let's edit. All right, so let's stretch this out here. So 
select. Um, start at the bottom. And uh, let's get it all like that. Cut Z, 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 file, new, don't save, paste. All right, let's, um, actually, now we'll just erase. Or do we even need to erase? Mm, I don't like it erased. So we'll just use that. Um, I can actually trim it up a little bit more. Like this. Control X, Z, 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 paste. There we go. File, save as PNG, documents, Dungeons and Dragons. We're going to save this as Lady Rast.png. I could cut it easier. I could cut it right around her specifically, but using paint doesn't have that option. It's just pick it where you want it and go. So we'll go with that, and then we'll go back to Haberdash for a second. We'll go to Lady Wraith, and we'll go Edit, and we'll go Image. We'll go Substitute, page name dot PNG. Show preview, yes, it doesn't exist. Choose file, lady race, open, upload file. Drag this down here too. Ah, so you can see that we got a warning on this one. It says this file exceeds the 300 kilobit byte recommended limit, but is still less than two megs. Ignore the warning and save file anyway. It's 413 kilobytes. So there she is. We can save page. And there she is. I think that looks really nice. All right, so moving on, who else do we have? That's 29, running out of screenshots here. There's a lady race with Lindelay that we used. There's another Lindelay, but we already got one. I like the one with the arm up saying, hey, better. And that one I can delete. Nothing there. That one has nothing extra to add. Delete it. Delete it. Delete it. Delete it. Delete it. We're done with those. Done with that. All right, so we got Roderick Nettle down there. I think that's the one that I wanted to use for a screenshot, but I don't know about the CR thing, so. Now there's a Roderick Nettle we can use. That isn't bad.
That one's not too, too bad either. Although I kind of like that one. Yeah, I could trim the top off. I really don't care about file size, though. It's under the 2 megabyte limit. Yep, he is. Let's see here. All right, let's take a look at recent changes real quick. Anybody else working today? Not yet. All right, so let's see here. Roderick Nettle. Ooh, there's a good picture of Sneblin. All right, okay. So let's edit that and take that as a screenshot. Even though the hireling is behind him, that's okay. I'm okay with that. Cut. New. Don't save. Paste. File. Save as PNG. Neblin.png. Save, close. I actually don't have anything for these guys, except that I know where they are, and I know that they're undead, so Krillic was in the Cobalt's newest ringleader, and so was Sneblin, not rare or Malric rather. Color was orange. I believe Malric is orange. He might be red. This guy is not a boss. He is named. I don't know what those are. Undead. Copy. Starting point. Save Malric. Paste. He is a boss. I don't know if he's red. I'm going to put an orange for now. Um, he's a lich. Actually, I know the other guy is a acrylic here. I know he's a cobalt, actually. Now that I think about it, just going by memory. Um,. He's a war priest, if I remember correctly. Sneblin isn't, he's orange. So let's see here. Do we want Roderick Nettle with the purple barrier or that one right there? So one or two?
One, two. Which one do we like? I actually kind of like number two better myself. Okay, that works for me. It's a little bit bigger too, I suppose. So let's grab that. Cut. File. New. Don't save. Paste. File. Save as. PNG. Now, because we already have a page on Roderick Nettle, Oh, maybe we don't already have a page on Roderick Nettle, but we should have a page on Roderick Nettle, the regular one. Hmm. Maybe I spelt it wrong. Roderick Nettle. Roderick Nettle. Well, I spelt it right. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to save this as Roderick Nettle Undead dot PNG. And then we're going to go to Roderick Nettle Undead. We're going to create the article, and we're going to use uh, going to use Sneblin. We only got 15 minutes left to the stream, and we're short on people for doing our drawing. Hmm. Well, if we don't have enough people, it will carry over to next week. And what is Roderick Nettle? Did I ever bring up a box for him? He is an undead zombie. And his level is 15 at 15, if I remember correctly. 15 at 15. He is, uh, no, he is not a boss. His color is yellow because he has no color, really. Roderick Nettle Undead. Choose file, Roderick Nettle Undead. Upload, it's 140K, so it'll be under the 300 limit or large file size. All right, there's that. Show preview. There we go. Save page. Maybe if we're lucky, the um, Night Rivals event will come back sometime early in the spring for a weekend or whatever, and I can get some more um, information and screenshots at that point. All right, so there's Roderick Nettle, Sneblin.
Maybe I can get this in as a screenshot of the week. Purple Piker just hanging out there, waiting to go into the trial of the Archon raid. Well, maybe. Except that, don't forget, all of our ingredients and stuff is going are going to expire at the beginning of 2016. And it would be nice of the developers to allow us a weekend to burn them up before they expire. So I'm hoping that maybe that it'll come back for a weekend sometime early 2016 before all those ingredients just go poof. And I'm sure there are people that will try to exploit those ingredients going poof by putting them all on a character and TRing and seeing if they'll be saved in the TR cache. Possibly even inside of a bag in the TR cache. Because I know that sometimes people get sneaky about that kind of thing. So as long as they leave them in the TR cache until the event comes back, I guess they might be saved. That might be something for the developers to, to check out. Thanksgiving, huh? That's possible. Let's see here. What else do I have for screenshots? Now there's a Theric Thens, except with a zombie right behind him. It's hard to read his name. And then you got my big pumpkin head in the way on that one. Well, okay, so we'll do a vote for this one. Number one with my pumpkin head, or number two with the zombie behind. Yeah, by that they mean before the beginning of 2016. So it'll be sometime in the beginning of 2016 that they expire. Number one with my pumpkin head, or number two with the zombie behind, and I can actually use my pen and fix his name a little bit with that. I actually like this one better. Well, I'm going to go against you on this one, Xander. I'm going to go with this one. Pumpkin head one is much clearer, but it blocks half of his body, and I don't like that. So I am going to... Grab this one right here. Cut. And we'll see what it looks like once I manipulate it a little bit. Paste. And then I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to grab a pencil. I'm going to make my pen a little bit bigger. Make my pencil a little bit smaller. I'm just going to clean up the name a little bit here. All right, let's zoom out and see what that looks like. There, that looks good to me. Number one was pumpkin. Number two is this cleaned up. Looks like I need to clean up a little bit more by the T here. Wonderful thing about using an imaging editing program. You can clean up little things like that. So how does that look? <laughs> I did. So we can either have that one or we can have this one, but this one isn't as clear because you got my big body in the way.
All right, here's what we'll do. We'll open up another paint window. And we'll cut, file, new, don't save, paste. Nope, I don't want to do that. Paste. Copy, paste. So which one? And I can actually do both. I kind of like this one better. It shows that he's an orange name better. It doesn't have my big body in the way. It's not as dark. So you like number two better? All right, number two it is. Save as PNG Seric Thens.png. Save. Close. Seric Thens. Edit. Show preview. <clears throat> Choose file, Seric Thens, open 112K, it'll be fine size wise. Save page. And there we go. Sarek Thens is in there. So we got five minutes left. Um, don't forget to contribute to Movember. You can check out my Movember page at mobro.co technical13. There's the, the web address there. Make sure that you check that out. And if you're interested in donating to Team Turbine, to the wiki person for Team Turbine, that is your link. Put that back down here. And you can see our YouTube uh, playlist. Um, that's not currently a link, but in all the videos, I'm actually going to put in a little text over it to make it a link. Once I start actually editing the YouTube videos, um, I will be uploading this today. Um, unfortunately, we only had six out of 10 people show up today and actually contribute. So we didn't make our, our number that we needed to roll for the 500 turbine points. Um, so next week, it will be again set for 10 attendees needed, 10 contributors. Um, and we will roll for the same 500 turbine points that were available today. Um, I don't foresee four more people showing up in five minutes. So we'll shrink that down. What did we get done today? I have the turbine point codes, people. Need more people to watch and contribute. Uh, what did we do today? We worked on a couple minor edits on the shard of the phylactery. Uh, we, we, did, we fixed a double redirect. Did a little bit of JavaScript, looking at some stuff there. Added some links to Snitch in the Link, Lich, Ringleader, Haverdashed. Wasn't there another quest? Uh, snitch, ringleader, haverdash. Oh, Ravager. We never got to ra edit the Ravager page, although we did do some people for that quest. 
Um, we added Sneblin, we added Click, we added Lindelay, we added Lady Brass, we added Malric Relic, Rattle Nettle Undead, Sarek Fens. We added all those pages. Cobalt, yep, Cobalt's new ringleader's there. Um, under new Ravagement, we didn't actually do any edits to that page because they were already done. Okay. Oh, we can do an edit to that page. We can fix the link to Sarek at the bottom. Sarek Fens. So there's all that. I think we got most of the, um, most of the mobs from these quests. Mummy Lord, Sneblin. There's no link here to Roderick Nettle. Um, have to add that later. They're not going to have time right now. Click, Krillick, and Malric. Those are the people in here. Although we need to add the monsters for this quest sometime. Um, monsters for this quest, we have everybody already. Skeleton, Wraiths, and Zombies. Lindelay and Lady Race. Uh, we can edit that real quick. We've got two minutes left. Yeah, wouldn't hurt if we went a little bit over, but um, we should make that linked. We should make this linked. The liches summon skeleton or zombie mobs depending on the quest. I didn't notice that. Oh, I did notice that. Only in um, the Cobalt's newest ringleader, um, Malric can summon more mobs, but they die as soon as you kill him. Um, I guess technically Sneblin summons skeletons, but they're all up on the rooftop, so that they're not down in the playfield, so you don't notice them. They can't actually do anything. They're not casters um, or ranged. They're just melee and they spawn up there to prevent people from standing on the rooftops um, I don't think they're actually him summoning If you kill Lady Rasp before opening the door, the quest will bug and Haberdasher won't give you the ending. I never saw that. I guess that was something that was completed. That was fixed. So we can just get rid of that bug. It doesn't exist. Anyways, I think we did a pretty good job today. I did have, um, under new ravagement bug on me once where I talked to Maxwell too quickly and, um, I got the wrong table string and it bugged out, wouldn't complete. Um, 
the guy that made them already knows about it and it'll be fixed in the next iteration i'm guessing but we did a lot of new pages today i think that's some good stuff let's check our contributions Ooh, we're up to 252 edits so let's go to ddo stream page as a final thing for today we're going to edit our page Some more good mornings there. And we're user edit award 252 now. Save that. Uh, open a new window. We're also going to Because of that, we're going to check something out real quick before I finish the stream. We're going to go to special pages here. We're going to go down and under user rights management here, there's going to be a new link that shows up in a minute. It takes a minute to load. Players Council editing status for the wiki. Um, not specifically, although Players Council members do get DDO Wiki VIP without having 100 edits, they get it right off the bat. Um, and they also get to put a cool template on their user page that indicates that they're on the Players Council. All right, so that didn't load. All right, so we'll go to special blank page with GS Auto Promote. There should have been a link here, but that took would take you to this page, which is a blank page. It's intentionally left blank. The purpose of that is to be able to do um, scripts on the page with the with JS equals whatever the script name is. Um, with JS only works in the media wiki namespace. Come on, load up. There we go. So you'll see that DDO stream has made it into onto this page. Um, last edit was zero months ago. It's a big green number. It's got 253 um, edits in two months. You can see that everybody else is red with a line through it. That's because there've been more than 24 months. So they're, they're considered completely inactive. So I'm not gonna bother promoting them, but because DDO stream is over the is on the list, um, this this is a list of users meeting the requirements for inclusion in DDO Wiki VIP or super user. The requirement for super user is 250 edits. So I can go to contributions here. I'm eventually going to add links to automatically promote people with just one click, but I haven't gotten there yet. And we can go to user right management, use the live version. You can see that there's a table here, which I need to work on a little bit. Um, it's over the 250. So DDO Wiki VIP, yes. Super user, yes. So we can give it super user. We'll copy this little thing down here and paste that in there. And DDO stream is now a super user. What does that mean? Well, what that means is that if I go to recent changes, and if there are any edits that haven't been patrolled, they will show up with little red exclamation marks for me to patrol. There aren't any at the moment. Um, and actually, I don't even know that 
people need to be exclusively in DDO Wiki VIP and Super User anymore. I'll have to research that. I may actually be able to trim some of those off to reduce the number of required, the number of stats. Um, I'll have to take a look at how that works. I don't know how that's set up right now, but anyway, it, this has been another um, DDO Wiki talk with T13. Your host Shoemaker, um, wearing his little. Movember pin. Get down right in there. I got a couple other pins to wear for next week and the week after. Um, everybody have a great week.